Hello and welcome back to Eat Like a Viking. My name is Craig. Some people call me a forager, some people call me a Saxon, and some people call me the Saxon forager. And today I'm going to show you how to make wild garlic fritters. Yay! Let's get to it. So as with all foraging, obviously make sure you do know what you're picking and try not to uproot anything unless you've got the land. And don't trim an area bare, or you'll have nothing to come back to. This one's really simple. If you made pancakes, you'll, you'll be well away with this one. So what you need is a cup of flour. I've got spelt today. Doesn't really matter, to be honest. And then a pinch of salt. Crack in two eggs. about a quarter of a cup of beer. And give it all a good mix up. I normally use a whisk, but having put it in my jug, I've now realized my whisk doesn't fit. But this will work. And then roughly chop a large handful of wild garlic and about four spring onions. and add them to your batter. And give it all a really good mix to combine it. So you're gonna melt a bit of butter in a pan. And then we're gonna add the batter to the pan in large tablespoons, just big blobs like that. Just make sure you leave a bit of a gap between each one or you'll end up with one large one. After a few minutes, once the bottoms are starting to go brown and golden, flip them over. And do the same again for the other side. Both sides are golden, I've burnt that one a little bit. Take them off the heat. And that is it. So yeah, that's a lovely easy way for you to use up your fresh wild garlic. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna eat this. And uh, like, subscribe and all that nonsense. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Mmm, the garlicky pancake. Viking, Viking man. I want to be a Viking man. Bye.